Hey friend, McKenna here. I wanted to come and share with you guys five of my favorite go-to tips for making sure your hair extensions are lasting the absolute longest possible, keeping them shiny and healthy for the longest duration that you can. So currently I have in my 20 inch seamless hair extensions. These are in the shade Pale Ash Blonde for reference. And then just to kind of have a little demo here, I have my um, one piece clip-in from Cashmere as well to show you guys some things in the video. So tip number one would be pay attention to how you are brushing out your hair extensions when you're styling them before, after, etc. So you wanna make sure that you have a good quality brush that is going to be really well suited for extensions. You don't wanna be mangling through super hard or just kind of careless. You wanna make sure you're being a little bit more gentle so that you're not ripping out any hair. Um, Cashmere does offer a brush that they have that that is safe and made for hair extensions. So that's a really great option. If you don't currently have that, something like a detangular brush would work really well. Tip number two would be how you are storing your extensions. I've seen often over the past 10 years of wearing extensions of people um, just kind of throwing them into a drawer or just storing them when they're like all tangled up and ratted or have a lot of product in them. You wanna just make sure that you're handling with care. They don't need to be perfectly pristine when being stored. But my favorite way personally is I have a drawer space that I do store them in and I'll just make sure that before I store them that they are brushed out and then I kind of just wrap them up so that they are not getting tangled or around anything that might be messing with them as I'm getting things in and out of the drawer. Another really great option, which would be probably the best option, grabbing yourself a cashmere hair extension bag. It's a storage bag specifically made for hair extensions. So you can actually go ahead and just clip it on and let the hair hang just perfectly straight like this. That is an amazing option, also super recommended if you are doing any traveling, packing your suitcase, things like that, that's gonna be really helpful. So my third tip for you guys is try to use as little product as possible on the hair extensions themselves. So if you are going to be styling your hair with let's say hairspray, texturizing spray, things of that nature, things with a, a more of an alcohol base especially, you're gonna to wanna to make sure to steer away from that when your hair extensions are in. So personally, what I do is I would style my natural hair how I want it, go ahead and get in the texture spray, the dry shampoo, the hairspray, all that kind of stuff, whatever you're doing that day. And then after you sprayed it all in, then go ahead and place in your hair extensions. I find that the texture of this hair is so much better than my natural hair. It can take a lot more, but it is very sensitive to product. So you just wanna make sure that if you are, you know, if you did happen to get in, let's say hairspray or things like that, you're gonna to wanna to wash it out. Which is going to bring me to my next tip, which is tip number four, wash your hair extensions, in my opinion, as least amount of times as possible. So you're gonna to wanna to wash them on an as need basis. They come already with a very smooth, shiny feel to them. And so you wanna make sure that you're not washing that out repetitively because there is like this protective um, almost layer over it that's really keeping the hair safe, shiny, and smooth. And so I find that I only wash my hair extensions if I did happen to get product in them. Um, if I have put anything like an oil in them and it got out, you want to make sure to steer away from styling your hair extensions. If you just used an oil on them or anything like that, you don't want to mix oil and heat with the extensions and your natural hair too. So because I wear my hair 99% of the time in this curled waved look, I really only style my extensions maybe once a week and then throughout the week or throughout the next few weeks, I will go ahead and touch up. So bringing me to my last and final point, point number five is being just aware of how your hair extensions handle heat. I find that my hair extensions handle heat actually a lot better than my natural hair does. But that being said, I don't like to overwork the extensions. So kind of going back to styling and when to wash your hair extensions, I find personally that if I have my hair extensions curled, I can touch them up for a few weeks and they're totally great to be touched up, to be added more heat in. They're really, really um, durable. But what I don't like to do is really overwork the hair or over style, meaning if they are 
curled and I've just curled them the day before and then I want to wear my hair straight, I wouldn't recommend going and trying to straighten already curled hair. It's just a lot of heat, it takes a lot of time. So I find if I'm really switching styles, like if they were, let's say, waved and I'm trying to go to straight, I personally would go ahead and wash the hair extensions first and then just let them air dry and then go ahead and straighten. It'll just be a lot less heat, a lot less time on the straightener or on the curling iron that's needed. So I hope that you guys enjoyed these five tips to taking care of your hair extensions so that you can get the longest wear possible. All right, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.